want you to find a corner of your house that is fairly clear of um, anything. In other words, I have a shelf uh, here on this corner, but that's okay um, to hold on to as long as it's stable. Um, you make sure your door, if you're in a corner where there's doors, that they're shut and they won't you know, push open or something like that. Um, and that the floor space is clear also around you. So um, we're going to start this practice by just planting your feet uh, firmly in the ground. So wiggle your toes a little bit, spread them out, <clears throat> really feel the floor underneath you, making sure that your ankles are underneath your knees, that you're a little towards your edge of the chair so that your back can be nice and tall. Actually, I'm going to tilt just slightly so you see that. So ankles are under your knees, shoulders are over your hips, and you're going to let your hands just rest down on your thighs for a moment. And close your eyes now, just feeling the weight of your feet down into the floor. The front of your feet, the back of them, the heels, the sides, all your toes. And then feel your he hands down on your thighs, and all your fingers, your palms. Let the weight of your elbows just drop your shoulders down. And feel the tips of your ears just lengthening up, like Spock in Star Trek. Like if you had those tips just reaching up towards the ceiling. See if that can bring some length into your spine. Again, your eyes are still closed. And allow for your breath to just fully expand in your rib cage and belly. As you exhale, let it drop down through the hands, the feet. So again, as you inhale, just fill your lungs with that air. As you exhale, release, let go of anything you don't need for this next little bit here of this practice. And then bring one hand to your low belly, one hand to your heart. And again, you can close the eyes. And feel your breath expanding between those two points. And then release your hands back down to your thighs. Open up your eyes. And hopefully you've created some nice space in your spine and your breath. And we'll take our chin then and draw it down towards our chest, tucking it in, releasing through the back of your neck, your shoulders. But you're still pushing into the floor, keeping your spine nice and long. And then we'll lengthen up through the back of your neck, the back of your shoulder, and see if you can raise your chest, your chin, your face towards the sky as if you're catching the sun's rays. And then bring it back towards your center. Again, looking out and draw your chin in, releasing your head to your heart. Again, keeping your back long, some energy in your feet. Your breath full. And again, push into the floor. Lengthen up through your chest, your chin, your face, your spine. And then bring it again back to your center. As you have length in the back of your neck, look over your right shoulder. something over there. Take a breath in 
And as you release it, let your head unwind towards the other side. And again, find a point over there, looking at it. Breathe in. And then let it unwind, coming back. And again, we'll look over one shoulder. And take a breath in. And then let it unwind. And look the opposite direction. and let it unwind. Come back to your center, reach out <clears throat> one arm, stretch the fingers and open the palm as wide as you can out to one side and let your head reach towards the opposite side. So again, you're stretching the fingers away from the top of your head, still nice energy down into your feet. And then bring your hand back and head back to center and take it the opposite direction. So reaching your hand out, your head away from your hand as much as you can as if somebody's pulling on your hand down and your head is stretching out the opposite way. And then bring your hand back and head back up to center and rest your hands towards your knees. We're going to cow as we call it, rolling your spine back towards the chair. So drawing your shoulder blades as far back towards the chair as you can and exhale. And then slide your hands back from your tailbone. Let your spine arch all the way up. And again, exhale as you roll back. So bringing your back, your shoulder blades towards the back of the chair. Releasing your hands. And then slide your hands back and go from your tailbone all the way up your spine, lifting, arching. And one more time, exhale, let it roll back. Slide the hands back, lengthen, open up. And then find your center once again. So release your hands off of your um, thighs and just take a shoulder roll, drawing your shoulder blades back behind you. So breathe in as you slightly lift and exhale as you let them go back. And then take them one back at a time. So you start to find a little bit of a twist, rolling the shoulder back. Find your center, let your hands stretch out in front of you, open and close your fingers. Again, you're drawing your shoulder blades back towards the chair, but reaching your fingers out. And then bring them palms facing together and your thumbs at your breastbone. So put some real energy into those palms pushing together and again energy into the floor with your feet. And then take a breath in, lengthening the palms up as high as you can towards the ceiling. Again, pushing into the palms, the feet, lifting up. Let it burst open, your arms opening wide and your body tipping forward, your shoulder blades back, your belly lifted. Really pushing into the floor, energy out through your fingertips, the top of your head. And then let everything go around the spine. Let the hands go, the head go. Belly lifted though. And then slowly roll out through your spine. But this time we'll go the other direction, opening the palms, lift them up, bring them together. Down in through your center as you lengthen your spine. Brush over the thighs, inhale, and soften your spine as you round forward. Slowly roll up, stacking your spine, the vertebrae in your spine all the way up, 
let your shoulders come back. Good. And then we'll <coughs> walk our feet over to the uh, side of the chair. So step your feet one at a time till you get to the side. And I want you to fully be on the chair now so we're not on the edge. Taking your one arm at the top of the chair, right, or around it, and using your other arm to twist you in the direction of the corner. So looking back and exhale. Keep the belly lifted and your gaze going all the way around. And then unwind that, let the hands come down, walk your feet back around, back to the center of the chair, and then walk them back over to the other side. And again, make sure you are fully on the chair, your butt is fully on the chair, so you can lift your hand around the chair, keep your shoulders low, take your other hand around, looking back. And then unwind that, come back to your center, walk your feet back around, stepping. And then we're going to come a little more towards the edge of the chair, pushing down into our feet, down into the floor, use your chair, and maybe you push just slightly on the chair, pushing down into your feet to lift your butt off slightly. So you're in the chair position, just hovering off the chair. You can stay right here holding on with your hands, or maybe you take one out. Try that balance. Maybe you take two out. So your tailbone is reaching towards the back of the chair, your fingertips reaching out, your belly lifted, you're pushing into the floor and breathing deeply. And if you can, you take another deep, long breath. This time, take a breath in, let go, reach for your chair there, let your butt come back down to the chair. Right, warming up those thighs just a bit. Then we'll go ahead and <clears throat> step a little towards the corner edge of the chair, so widening out so you're on the corner of the chair. Your right leg is in front with the foot right under the knee, and you're going to use your chair holding on and let the opposite knee drop down. The back heel is lifted, your spine as tall as you can be. Good. And maybe if your balance feels good with your feet down into the ground, we reach our fingertips out. Again, you might have a corner or shelf to hold on to. Stretching and looking out over those front fingertips. Good. Releasing your hands down, bringing your feet back underneath you. And if you feel uh, solid on your feet and you want to try that standing, you can push down into the floor, keep your feet where they were, just stretch back that other foot with the back heel lifted, right knee over the ankle, and maybe you balance standing. If not, you could stay seated doing the same thing. And when you're ready, releasing your hands, again, you use maybe your shelf, your wall, you find your chair, you turn your knee, you come back down and come back into the center of the chair, trying that on the other side. So again, you're coming to the opposite corner of the chair. You're lowering the opposite knee. The front knee is over the ankle. We lift up through our spine. You stretch your arms out. Gazing out towards the front finger. Nice, and releasing down. Again, we bring that foot back underneath us so our feet are planted. Maybe we stand up to use the wall or, you know, shelf, as I said, here in the corner there to step that foot back and try it again or you stay seated. And 
then we release the arms back down. We walk our foot in, if it was too wide, we use our wall or chair, we find that chair behind us, sit back down, come back towards your center. And then we're gonna take the feet just a little bit wide. Knees are still over your ankles. This time you're on the edge of the seat, but not too far on the edge because we're gonna bend forward. So if, if you have no blood pressure issues, it's fine to let the head go below your heart for a little bit. So if you do that, if you do have something with blood pressure, then don't let the head go below the heart. Keep the spine long. But if it's okay, give your spine a nice stretch by breathing in and up. You're allowing your spine to come forward, your head to come forward. And again, as I said, if it's okay, you could let those hands rest down on the ground and let your head go, stretching your spine, your hips, pushing into the floor, your feet. If you have let your head go, really let it go. And then bring one hand to the uh, back up to your thigh and then the other, stretching the spine all the way back up. Good, take an easy breath there, bring the feet back in together and stretch one foot out in front of you with the foot flexed, the spine lifted and let your hand rest down the thigh, the shin, the knee, towards your toe, pushing into that opposite floor, uh, opposite thigh. Lengthen back up. Take a breath, turn the foot out so the toes are aiming out towards the side and we'll rest down the inner thigh. Good. turning that toes up, slide it in, hug that knee for a moment. Good. Maybe you're, allowed, you're, you're able to grab the ankle, the shin, and cross it across and open the knee. If not, just keep hugging the knee in. And pause here for a nice full breath. And then we'll release it off. <clears throat> Foot on the floor and try the other foot again. You're really flexing through the heel, the toe, lifting the belly and let your hand slide down the thigh, the knee, the shin, wherever you get to is good. Keeping your belly lifted, your spine long, your other foot pushing into the floor. And slide it back up again turning the toes out, so now the toes are going out towards the side. Lift the belly, exhale, slide down the inner thigh again. And then slide back up, turn the toes out, slide the knee in, give it a hug. Keep hugging, or maybe you grab the ankle, flex the foot and cross it on top, lifting the spine tall. And then coming back to our center with our feet planted. And we're gonna uh, either stay right in the chair here to um, and do our, do our uh, tree maybe arms as you as you stay seated maybe you turn your feet out with it or we're gonna stand up against the wall um, and do our tree pose there so coming off the chair and coming up to your wall back into the wall hopefully you have your other chair for support here you don't want your heels right up against the wall you want them a little further out right space for your for your butt to be able to lean back on that wall if you need to. Right, and then we'll try and bring the feet a little bit together. Again, you always have that chair to hold. Lifting the heel of one foot, turning the foot out. So the ball of the foot, again, is on the floor, or it could rest on the ankle, whatever is comfortable to you, or the shin. And if you can, bringing one hand to the heart, or maybe you bring two, 
And again, you always have that wall just behind you. And if it feels comfortable, lengthening out through your arms like a tree, again, you have that wall behind you or the chair in front to stretch up and out. And then coming back in, maybe use your chair and just come back in, turning the feet back to try the other side. So again, you're going to be lifting the heel of one foot, turning it out, and either keep that ball of the foot down or bring it to your calf or shin, uh, shin here or calf. Yeah. <clears throat> and again, bringing your hands to your heart or two hands. And you always can feel the back of the wall, stretching the back of your shoulder blades, your head. Maybe you stretch the arms up if it's comfortable up against the wall. And then coming back in, again, you could bring your hands in, you could touch your chair, feet back in, <clears throat> and we'll come back to seated. So in front of the chair, find it, see it, sit. And we're just going to finish out this practice, um, this breathing, stretching practice with our feet down, one hand again on top of the other, across our heart center. Um, our breastbone, our eyes closed. Just taking a moment once again to breathe fully. Feeling grounded, feeling your feet on the floor. Just allowing yourself a moment to feel grateful, feel gratitude. Bring your palms together, and we'll finish this practice by bringing them up to the forehead and bowing forward. Namaste, which means the divine in me bows to the divine in all of you. Hope you enjoyed that for today. <laughs>